Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here, and welcome to my ultra secret underground base entrance tutorial and a little bit of a base tutorial. I'll show you how I'd build mine. So, the only thing really you're going to need to find is a cave and a wall or underground, kind of like this one. And then you're going to need a lava bucket, just one of them, two signs, uh, at least two water buckets. You maybe will use them, you maybe not will use them. You're going to need maybe some stone to cover up some mistakes you make, some smooth stone preferably, and a torch to light up things. So, let's go ahead and find a good place in the wall so no one's really going to suspect that a random piece of lava is going to, you know, cover a base. But anyways, go ahead and break out a block where you want your lava source to go. Kind of make it look natural and then pick a spot where you want your entrance to be. So let's do mine right here. And then how you do the entrance is you go ahead and just put a sign, then another sign. So you have two signs and then there's one space in the middle. That's where you put your water. And then go ahead and dig that down. And as you can see, I already dug a little bit of a room out here, so you will kind of have a room to go to, and then I'll show you how to do a really cool thing. And then go ahead and place your lava right there. And so as this is flowing, um, I will just kind of explain, there's no way someone's going to jump in lava to see if it's your base. There's just no way, unless someone has an x-ray texture back and they're cheating, in which case they're going to find any secret entrance, especially one above ground like the sliding ones. So now that we have it there, remember which block you did it on. So we did ours right here. So go ahead and just kind of jump onto it. It will not kill you. The water will put you out. And now you are underground. So to demonstrate it not killing you, I'm going to go ahead and go in survival and do that real quick. So let me fly back out, and I'll be back in a second. All right, so remembering which block you dug out, it being this one right here, go ahead and jump into the middle of it and just kind of float your way in. It will not kill you. It will almost kill you, but it won't kill you. If you're not at full health, I would not recommend jumping into it. So if you want to make that a little bit easier, you can just kind of expand it out with more signs, make it two wide, three wide, whatever you really want to do. So I'm going to go back into creative, get some materials, and show you how to do a really cool underground base. Be right back. Alright, so I've dug out a little bit of a cubed room down here, and this is the most aesthetically pleasing design I have made and I've been making for a while. But if you want functionality, just leave it like this. Add chests on the walls, crafting table, furnaces, enchanting rooms, whatever you want. So start by placing stairs like this on the top and bottom, and then make it go all the way around like that. And same with these stairs. And with these stairs, and right here, you can just kind of leave that open, and I'd recommend leaving that open too. And then go ahead and place stone brick wherever you can see the stone, like this. So just in all the walls in this instance. Not sure how I'm doing this. And on the ceiling, we will leave that to a future job in a moment. And so on the corners, go ahead and do your oak logs so that they kind of feel like they flow with the whole design and give the structure some support so it doesn't collapse in on itself and kill the user. That wouldn't really happen. This isn't that realistic. And on the ground, you can do a whatever kind of flooring, I guess. I'm going to go with, uh, let's actually do a wood, f no, let's, let's do a stone brick floor. Like this. Oh no, it got dark. Yeah, I had to turn off shaders because it was so dark in here. So you can go with a stone brick floor and then you could do like a... You could do like that on the roof. I don't know, something. And then have a stair there. And then have this here. If you really wanted to. Something cool like that. And then you can just go ahead and get some crafting tables and, you know, all your essential things. So let me just kind of throw out all of this for a moment here. And actually, let me grab the, grab the leaves back, the oak wood leaves, and the log, the oak log. So let me get that real quick. Sorry I'm taking so long. And then some jack lanterns, and we'll do a really cool lighting system. So let's do it in the front right here, or actually in the back right here. That would be the easiest. So go ahead and just do your oak wood like that, and then make it where the jack lanterns are sideways, and then go ahead and just place your blocks back. And then add your leaves. So it gives kind of a covered light source, and it gives off a decent amount of light. So if I just go ahead and cover cover that up, that all that's all coming from there. See, not from above here in your little lava entrance. So now that we're in here, let's go ahead and just do some chests. So if you don't like that and you'd rather have some chests, go ahead and just break it. Why not? Grab some chests. I mean, who does not love chests? And put them right there, and there, and your crafting tables. And then you can do a furnace over here, just kind of break a stair and then place it. And then let's actually do a little bit of a flower pot here. I think that would look good. So let's go ahead and grab a pot, just a little bit of pot, and a flower. So 
What shall the flower of today be? Let's do a a blue orchid. Sounds good. And then you can just kind of grab another stair and throw it upside down. Put the orchid on it, and there you go. And you know, you guys can add you know an enchanting room down here, whatever you want. And again, this does not look like a place where you would be keeping a secret underground base. Honestly, this just looks like a random cave with you know some, some lava coming out of it. But then you go down here, and boom, it's a nice underground base. So if you guys like this tutorial, go ahead and leave a like, leave a thumbs up, leave me a comment, tell me how you like this base, tell me if you used it. If you used it, you know, guys, follow me on Twitter, you know, send me a tweet, be like, yo, I used this, and, you know, send me a screenshot or whatever, I'll take a look at it, retweet it if I like it, all that good stuff. Remember, subscribe, I do a lot of really cool tutorials like this and more, and yeah, I shall see you guys later. Goodbye.